Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a makeup declutter. Have you ever been in that kind of mood where you spend a lot of money on makeup and then you're like, feel really guilty about it? So then you're like, I need to get rid of some makeup. <laughs> I do think though, honestly, I do have a lot of makeup that I don't use and it's just taking up space. So that is what I'm going to do today. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe it encourages you to declutter some makeup. I always find that, like with my wardrobe declutter, if I'm filming it, I'm more likely to get rid of more. Sounds weird, but yeah. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy this makeup declutter. And yeah, this is the same cup of tea that I drank in my Charlotte Tilbury video, but it got a bit cold whilst filming, so I reheated it. I can't drink hot tea. And it just always goes cold, so I'm just constantly microwaving a cup of tea. So I'm basically just going to start off with these acrylic drawers, as that is the majority of my makeup. And I've just got this black box here, which I'm going to put makeup in. Most of this, I'm not going to lie, is just going to be gross and I throw it away. But if there is something that I haven't really used, then I might just give it away or sell it. Right. Right, first off setting sprays. So I've got this Morphe one, which I'm obviously keeping. It's one of my favorites. Then have this MAC Fix Plus in this rose scent. I'm absolutely obsessed with anything that smells like rose or Turkish delight. <laughs> and then I have these two, and this Wet n Wild one is pretty much empty, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And this Milani one I've literally had since like 2015. <laughs> they are both really good, but yes. They're not my favorites, to be sure. Moving on to primers. Two of my favorites, oldies but goodies, are the Too Faced Hangover and the Laura Mercier Primer Radiance. I absolutely love these two, I swear by them. A slightly newer one is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I'm obsessed with. And then I have this NYX Angel Veil, which I'm not gonna lie, I only kept for my drugstore versus high-end. So I'm gonna get rid of it because I'm not really into pore filling. Next up, I have some cream eyeshadows. Don't ask why they're up here, I just don't really have many. So I have this new Charlotte Tilbury one in this gold shade, which I'm obsessed with and I honestly need more shades. And then I have these two Maybelline colour tatties, which I'm not gonna lie, they're just old and dried up, so. They are really good though, so if you're looking for some cheap cream eyeshadows, they are really good ones. Next we have mascaras. This might be a slightly harder one. Um, Too Faced are better than sex, I'm living for currently. The Lash Paradise, I'm also really liking. The Kiko one, I think I've had this for ages. Um, I got this because Kathleen Knight liked it, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it actually, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have the Collection Last Surge and a Revolution one, and these I love as well, but I think I need newer ones, but I'm gonna keep these so that I remember to get new ones, because I do love them both. And then I just have this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, and it's the only one I have, so I'm going to keep that. Moving on to foundations and concealers. Okay, so first off, I have my two NARS Sheer Glow. Um, the reason I have two is because I had Deauville, but then I realized that wasn't really my shade. So I've got Fuji, but I sometimes mix them. And this is honestly my favorite foundation. <laughs> Next, I have the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, which I'm obsessed with, and this is what I got this year. I have two Rimmel foundations here. I have the Lasting Radiance, and the Rimmel Match Perfection, which I've, I've honestly used this for such a long time. This is a newer one, but I just always repurchase this, and I love both of these. Rimmel is definitely my go-to when it comes to the drugstore. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this Physicians Formula foundation that I got in the USA. I've only used it once in a video, and honestly, it's a really nice foundation, but I just can't get past the smell. So I'm gonna have to give that one away. I then have this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is my go-to when I go on like a summer holiday or a peachy holiday. 
Um, I love that. I then have this Revlon Colorstay foundation, which I'm not gonna lie, I used it in a video and I thought it looked really nice, but throughout the day it just wasn't my favorite and I found it just a little bit drying. As you already know, I do really like a radiant hydrating foundation and this just isn't it. Oh, okay. And last but not least, I have these Revolution Pro Drops. And actually I really like these, but I think this shade is just too light for me. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these as well. Next up, <laughs> concealers. If I'm gonna be honest though, concealer is like really important to me. <laughs> My most recent one that I've got is this Charlotte Tilbury concealer and I'm definitely keeping this. I don't have any concealers that are quite natural looking, so I definitely want to keep that. Tarte Shape Tape, don't need to ask me twice. I am gonna get rid of, this needs to go in the bin really, there's hardly any product left and it's just like a mini NARS and honestly, it wasn't really my favorite, so. Collection Lasting Perfection, such a go-to. Obviously gonna keep um, Revolution Conceal Define, also going to keep. Um, it actually doesn't smell very nice, but it is a good concealer. And I've got this NARS, what's it called? I've got this NARS Soft Matte Pot. I do love this for just if I just having a really natural day and I'm just wearing concealer, I will wear this. And I've got this Catrice Camouflage Concealer, which I'm honestly obsessed with, but I'm almost out. Can we get this in the UK? Please let me know because I love this concealer. And then I also have this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which I also love. And I sometimes kind of use this as a foundation. So I think I did pretty well there, actually. <laughs> Next up, blush. This definitely needs to be tackled. Right, first up I have this Jouer Duo and it looks oh, it's so beautiful. I need to use it more this autumn and I think I probably will because in the summer I do tend to go for peachier pinky shades so I think I'll definitely use that more in the autumn. I've just got this Charlotte Tilbury blush in Pillow Talk and I'm obsessed with this. When I went to LA there is no way that I'm getting rid of these. I searched high and low for these and I'm always going to have to keep these. L'Oreal Life's a Peach, have to keep. This is not going well. This Revolution Trio, I got this because Sophie Snell said it was really nice and the highlight and blush are really nice, but I just don't reach for it. I think the blush is just a bit too shimmery. Ooh. I never use it, I'm getting rid of it. This sleek blush in suede. I absolutely love this, obsessed. I've got this Milani blush in Luminoso, the infamous Luminoso, and I never use it. Oh, I don't know. That might be a maybe. I've got the Tarte blush in Central, which I also love. Okay, I've got these Wet n Wild Icon blushes <clears throat> and I always, I use Mellow Wine and Apricot in the middle so much but I don't really use Rose Champagne so I'm going to put that one to the side. I've got this Body Shop, Body Shop Liquid Blush which I think is really nice for the summer so I'm going to keep that. And then I've got these two, I've got a Too Faced blush and I also have a Revolution one. That's that one and I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because it isn't my usual kind of blush shade. And I literally said in my drugstore video that the, the L'Oreal one was the exact same colour. I'm going to get rid of the Too Faced one and keep Milani. The Too Faced one is, I just, it's just the bulky packaging, isn't it? And then I have this Zoella Colourpop blush, which actually I really like. I wasn't fond of the highlight, but the blush is really nice. A bit better, isn't it? This is my highlight. Yeah, just highlighter draw. And there's a couple of eyeshadow things in here as well. First off, I'm obviously, you're gonna obviously see me keeping probably my top 10 highlights. <laughs> if you see my top 10 highlighters video, 
then you'll know which ones I'm keeping. I will link that down below actually if you're interested. So Anastasia Amrezi and my Mary Lou I'm obviously keeping. Also keeping my Pixie and Aspen Ovard highlighter. Keeping my Fenty Kilowatt as it's my only really like pinky highlight. And as I'm saying that, I am gonna get rid of this one. As in the drugstore highlighter video, this was just too dark, I think, as for a highlighter. Um, tempted to use it as an eyeshadow, but yeah. I'm gonna be keeping both my ColourPop highlighters as I love these. I've got a MAC Nylon, which is so nice with Inner Corner. I've got these Barry M Liquid Drops, but honestly, I prefer these L'Oreal ones. So I'm going to get rid of the Barry M and keep the L'Oreal. I then have my Jeffree Star Princess Cut. I can't remember if I put this in my top 10 highlights, but I think I have to keep it. I obviously don't use it too much, but I like to have a highlighter that's a little bit different. Um, like I said, I do also have some like eyeshadowy bits in here. I might actually put my Charlotte Tilbury pot in here as well. And then I have this Stina Liquid Metals. And if I'm going to be honest, this always like dries on my eyes and like cracks. And as much as it looks beautiful at first, it always doesn't by the end. So I've only used this once or twice, so I might pass this on. Then got this by Terry Rose Quartz um, eyeshadow pencil, which I love. And I've got these two Zoella Colourpop ones, which I also really like. These are liquid eyeshadows. I have these two Colourpop um, Super Shock eyeshadows, which I love, especially for the autumn. They're like these orangey and um, taupey shades. And then I have this Barry M glitter. I don't have many glitters, but I'm just gonna keep this one. Right, now for my bronzer and powder drawer. A bit of a weird mix, but there we go. Right, I've got this mini primer, which actually needs to go at the top because it's a mini of the Laura Mercier Radiance. So first I've got my Physicians Bronzer, Butter Bronzer, I love. Probably need to get a new one of these. And then I have this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which I've just got and I'm obsessed with. Um, I have my L'Oreal Bronze, which I also love. I have this Elf Bronze as well, which is really nice, but I think I've swatched it and actually never used it. So there we go. Marc Jacobs <laughs> Broken Tantastic Bronzer, if I can close it. There we go. Obviously keeping this. And then I also have, I have a Hoola Contour Quickie, but, and it's got loads of product left, but it's like broken. But, uh, and then I also have this mini Hoola. I think I might keep the mini Hoola and ditch this as it's kind of like broken. And I can't remember how long I've had this. And then I have my Too Faced Sweetie Pie Bronzer. Um, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of this. I might get rid of it. I think I've used it once. It looks beautiful. Ugh. Okay, moving on to powders. So first, this Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm obviously going to keep, if you couldn't tell that I love. I have my Rimmel Transparent Powder. It's just such a go-to. I then have my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish, which is pretty much broken, but yeah, I think I am gonna get rid of this. I then have this e.l.f. Mini Powder, which I used to use quite a lot, but actually I don't really use it anymore. Um, I think there's still quite a lot of powder in there, actually. And last but not least, I have these two Fit Me Powders. I have the pressed one, and I also have the loose one that I got in LA, and honestly, I like both, so. I'm going to keep both of them. There you go. Lastly, I have this sort of messed up drawer. <laughs> right. 
as for highlight palettes, I am going to be keeping all of these as I love them all. <laughs> Sorry. I definitely need to sort out this eyeliner situation. Right. These Colourpop um, Zoella ones I love. There's like a brown one and a black one. I love those. Then have this old brown Urban Decay one, which I've had for ages. I think I need to throw that in the bin. I've also had this Urban Decay black one for too long. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Um, I'm going to keep my Stila eyeliner as I think it's my favourite black one currently. And I've also got these two Colourpop ones. I've got um, Mr Bing, which is Kathleen's one, and I also have Overboard, which is like a shimmery gold, which I love. I have two pencil Rimmel eyeliners, which I think is a really good formula, so I'm going to keep those ones. And then I think I'm actually... I'm going to get rid of my black collection as I think it's a bit old but I am going to keep the brown one even though it does stain a little bit I still need to find a better brown liquid liner if you have a recommendation please tell me because I love brown eyeliner but this one honestly stains and I hate it but for now it's my only brown liquid liner and then I'm just going to probably keep these ones I've got like a pink um, a revolution one and the super cut liner is also really good um, so I only got rid of three liners, which isn't the best, but there we go. Now we have brow stuff. So I've got this old Anastasia brow gel, which honestly just needs to go in the bin. And then I have all my Benefit brow stuff, which this little one I'm pretty sure actually is empty. I need a new one. That's going to go in the bin because it's empty. And then... I've got this Anastasia one, which has got a bit of product left, and it's from when I used to have dark brown hair, and it's quite dark. I actually could probably use this for freckles or something, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have my sponges. I have two uh, beauty blenders, which are, I know, really dirty. And then I have my three pink Jeffree Star ones. I have a Morphe one. Um, my, my Real Techniques. I have two Eco Tools as well. I actually think I'm going to get rid of my NYX one because it's really super hard. I think I've only used it once or twice, so. I actually think I've done pretty well there. I've actually filled up like an entire box, which I'm pretty proud of. I'm actually going to come back down here and sit down, hello, <laughs> um, to do the rest of this. So I think first I'm going to go through my lipsticks and please don't expect me to get rid of too much as I do tend to declutter these like daily anyway um, so if anything it's probably just going through them but you know this is kind of like a makeup collection as well I guess <laughs> right first off I have all my Kylie lips and these are all of my Colourpop lippies which I also love I then have this Kat Von D in Ophelia. This is not going well. Huda Beauty in Bombshell, I love. I have a couple of glosses here. So I have a Kylie one, um, a Buxom and a Nars. I have Tanya Burr in Martha Moo, which is one of my favorites, and a L'Oreal lip lacquer in Gone With The Nude. And I've also got this Body Shop lipstick. And yeah, I do actually think I'm going to get rid of this NYX candy stick as it's just a bit old and I do I do want to get the updated packaging for the over lipsticks but I do have this Kathleen one in Miami Fever which I am obsessed with in the autumn so I'm going to keep that for now. One lipstick, good job Shah. And this isn't going to go any better sadly. Um, I've got my Safe Dust Nails, uh, some Max Wet n Wild lipsticks. Um, these are two Maybellines, a Milani, L'Oreal, uh, a Tanya Burr, I have this L'Oreal one, um, Bourjois, my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, I probably should get rid of these ones because they're just 
they're from the Revolution set. I think I'll get rid of these two. Oh, I've also got some loose powders. Oh my god, how did I forget that? Um, I do have these three loose powders that don't really fit in my drawers and I am going to be keeping them all for now. I'm going to keep testing the Fenty one because I'm not too sure about this. But apart from that, right. Right. Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. This, is, this has always been one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes and I've just... I want to get the updated packaging but until then this was like the first high-end palette i ever bought i have to keep it this 17 easy on the eye palette oh, i've had this for way too long definitely oh but i just never use it i used to but i just don't anymore so i'm going to get rid of that oh, we already know that we're keeping this and it is just such a good palette i have to keep that Puda nude palette don't even need to ask. Um, my Soph Revolution palette. Um, I think I do want to keep this because it does really, it does have some really nice shades. I don't tend to really use all these bright colours, but just like these columns and these columns have some really nice shades. Tartan and Bloom. Keeping. Such a nice palette. Oh, I do not need all three of these. Oh, this is the one that I really like. Good vibes only. I think this is so pretty. I'm keeping this one, I think. I think I could bear without this. I think I've only used this like once. And it wasn't one of my favourite ones. So, get rid of that. And then we have Get Ready With Me, which I think is such a nice, like, neutral shade palette. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Um, I think I have to keep this because this is Kathleen's most recent palette. Oh no, it's not. But it's a palette that I really liked anyway. <sighs> Rachel's Revolution palettes. I can't. I can't get rid of those. This Juvia palette is so nice. It's got, it's got such nice neutrals in it, so I'm definitely keeping that. And then this Kylie palette. I think this needs to go. Honestly. It looks like this, and it's beautiful. Um, but I've only used it a couple of times. And someone else might want this, because it's beautiful. Peach palette. Zoe's palette. Oh, my Naked's and my Laura Lee. If I'm gonna be honest, I can't get rid of any of these. You know what? We'll revisit eyeshadows another time. <laughs> so that is the end of my makeup declutter video. I actually think I've done quite well. Oh my God. I've managed to get rid of all of this. I'll probably put a little counter to see how many things I actually got rid of. Obviously a lot of it's just for the bin, but it's still making space for new makeup, so it's okay. But yeah, I'm really impressed with myself with the amount that I managed to declutter. I honestly didn't think I would do half this well. I didn't get rid of that many eyeshadow palettes, but I think it's just so hard. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Yeah.